In our story today from John 6, we see the disciples getting a lesson in economics. But it's not your typical classroom setting, and this is no ordinary economics professor. This story starts with Jesus taking the disciples to a small town to get some quality time with them. But a huge crowd keeps following them. They've seen the amazing things Jesus has done, and they want more. Jesus climbs up a hill to get some space, and as he looks at the crowd, he turns to his disciple Philip and asks, how are we gonna feed these people? This is Philip's time to shine. He's from this area, and Jesus now wants his advice on how to feed everyone. It's a lot of people. And Philip, feeling a little overwhelmed, does the logical thing and starts crunching the numbers. He soon realizes that they would need over half a year's wages to purchase enough bread to feed everyone. Moving into give up mode, Philip tells Jesus, this just isn't gonna happen. About that time, a young boy approaches the disciple Andrew and offers all he has, five loaves of bread and two fish. In Andrew's mind, it's probably a nice thought but he also makes it clear to Jesus that it's not going to do much good. And that is when the professor takes over. Jesus has everyone sit down, takes the five loaves and two fish, gives thanks to God, and gives it to the people. And every one of the 5,000 people ate as much as they wanted and were full. This is pretty amazing on so many levels and it is the showcase of our economics lesson today. The incredible gap between God's economy and man's economy. Even though Philip and Andrew's hearts seem to be in the right place, they used addition to try to solve the situation, looking at the numbers and trying to make everything add up on their own. That's what we call man's economy. But Jesus, using a young boy's faithfulness and generosity, places the small gift in his hands, gives thanks, and multiplies it, big time, to the tune of 5,000 people. And that is God's economy. You see, Jesus teaches us that what we have is never too little to serve God and have an impact on his kingdom. And he loves taking a humble, seemingly insignificant person with little resources and using them for his glory.